Grizzlies, a team in the NBA that has struggled and has risen up. I'm not going to say that I follow them as much as I follow teams like the Titans, like my Vanderbilt Commodores, like the Predators, but I followed them when they sucked a little bit. Didn't watch them a lot because about every game I saw them play, they lost. And ever since Lionel Hollins got in here as the head coach, replacing our old coach, who I'll remember, you know, uh, he was a white coach, and uh, not that it makes a difference, but I'm just saying, uh, that's all I remember of him, and he was not even mediocre, he was decent. Uh, he sucked as a coach, and uh, now the Grizzlies, I don't have any apparel for the Grizzlies or anything, but uh, they've risen up, they got the revenge over LAC last year in the playoffs in the first round, they got knocked out by LAC, the Clippers 4-3, to three. this year we knocked them out 4-2, to two. we got a revenge and now we got OKC at the Chesapeake, at the Chesapeake Energy Arena. In, Ho in Oklahoma City, and we're taking on Kevin Durant and the Thunder, a team that's hungry, a team that lost to the Heat last year in the finals. So, you know, it's going to be competitive, but uh, just like the Grizzlies players have been saying, we just got to stick to what we do, and we've got to uh, worry about us and nobody else. FedEx Forum was really first known of basketball success with the Memphis Tigers in college basketball as they went to the national championship and lost to Kansas in OT. So, you know, that's really the first time the FedEx Forum had any success in real basketball, you know. Now the Grizz under new ownership just recently. Grizzlies have risen up. Over the past two seasons recently, it's really been more packed and more crazy, and I'd love to go see a game there one day. I mean, just look at that, waving the growl towels and all that, fire going off, the Grizzly girls dancing, you know, it's just packed arena so and it's one of you know it's a pretty big arena it's a little bit bigger than the Staples Center actually and I mean let's just be honest now look it's packed plenty of Grizzly fans top to bottom as it says right there loudest this was game six either before or after probably a little bit before the game actually started in which the Grizzlies did win just a couple days ago uh, so, you know, it's just a whole different atmosphere. It's kind of like how the Predators rose up and created their atmosphere. But uh, I'm thinking the Grizzlies might be a little louder than the Predators, to be honest, because that looks pretty wild. And, you know, I, re I really never realized this between the Clippers and the Grizzlies, but, you know, I know this is the past as we beat the Clippers 4-2, to two, but they've had a pretty decent rivalry going on. And I uh, saw Zach Randolph and Blake Griffin getting into that scuffle a couple times in the last game and over the series. But uh, this was back in October uh, October 31st, so, uh, you know, it's not like they just started hating each other during the series. So this is Zach Randolph, Zebo taking down Blake Griffin. I'm not going to lie, our guy Randolph, he's on the crazy side. He doesn't really care that much, but uh, that's just the kind of player he is. So, And we'll have to somehow stop Durant. Uh, I think this is going to be a physical series, and it could very well go to Game 7, as long as the Grizzlies worry about themselves and not worry about OKC and all. But, uh... It could be physical. We just got to learn how to shut down OKC. Uh, since, you know, since Predators didn't make it in the NHL playoffs, really, this is the only thing I have to talk about. I've been struggling to find something to talk about, so go Grizz. It's uh, the quarterfinals of the Western Conference playoffs. So uh, after this, we'll be going to the Western Conference finals, I believe, after we do beat the Thunder. So let's go Grizz. We got best out of seven. Let's see what we can do.